this is the last stitch that you're going to be doing on your sampler. So again, you want to thread your needle and have your the ends of your threads together. Wrap them around your finger three, four times. Roll it. Pull, 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 pull. Don't let go. Pull, 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 pull. There's your knot. Now we're going to go down again about four or five boxes. One, two, three, four. Let's say this is the fifth one. You're going to fold your fabric again so that you have one box down. The edge of a row of boxes is right along your fold. <clears throat> just like that. Again, just like before, you're going to hold your fabric with your thumb and your middle finger, and you're going to use your index finger to control your thread. You're going to take your needle and go in at the corner, one box down at the corner. Here we go. Okay. Now you're going to bring it over your finger just like the run the overcast stitch and you're going to go in the middle of the box so it's going to be corner middle corner middle corner middle <clears throat> now this time the only thing that's different this is our blanket stitch you're going to hold that loop open with your index finger before the loop closes you're going to go through the loop And then you're going to pull it. Okay, now come back over the edge, hold your fa fab um, thread with your index finger. Going to go in at the corner. Um, yep, the corner. We did corner, middle. Now we're at the corner, corner of the box. Before the loop closes, go through the loop. How your stitches are now starting to have a line of thread go along the top. Okay, <clears throat> bring it back over, go to the middle of the next box. Before the loop closes, go through the loop with your needle. Here you go. And you keep doing this. Go back over the edge. Now we're going to the corner. Before the loop closes, go through the loop. And as you can see, there's that line. Okay, you've seen this on things like baby blankets. You've got a row of stitching, and then you've got a line um, of thread that's actually following the edge of the stitching. This is the, the stitch that you're going to be using to sew both halves of your pillow project together. I'll show you this a few more times, and there is another way that you can do this. Hold your loop open, go through the loop, and pull. Okay, go to the corner, and I want two stitches per box, just like your overcast. Okay, now, another way you can do it, if this is confusing, here we are at the middle of our box, stop here. Don't put your needle all the way through. Hold the needle with your thumb, take your thread, Go behind your needle. See? Go behind your needle. Hold that with your thumb. Now push the needle through. That will make the same stitch. I'll show you that again. Now we're going to the corner. Don't go all the way through. 
hold, hold your needle, bring the thread behind the needle. See? Hold your thread with your thumb, pull the needle through. Now, I'll show you that again. There's the middle, You're going through the middle of the box. Stop, bring your thread behind. Oh, see how the stitches look identical. Can't tell the difference of how you did it. <clears throat> so I'll show you the other way again. Go to the corner. Before the loop closes, go through the loop. This is the first way. You're going to go in the middle of your box. Before the loop closes, go through the loop. Go to the corner of your box. Before the loop closes, go through your loop. Gonna do this a few times. You can watch it. And again to the middle. Before your loop closes, go through the loop. Corner. Before the loop closes, go through your loop. Remember, if you need a break, just ask permission. And you can get up and take a break. For about a minute or so and you're going to leave your sewing project at your table you're not going to walk around with sewing projects we have needles we're not walking around with them i'm going to do this way a few times more and then i'll do the other way again Keep going to the corner, through the loop. You don't have to pull it real tight. See? Now, when you're sewing your project, though, you will be pulling it tight because you don't want any of the fluff or any of the stitches, any of the fluff to come out <clears throat> of your pillow, and you don't want any of the stitches to show on the outside. All this is going to be going, um, all your stitches are going to be on the inside of your project. Okay, one more time this way, and then I'll show you the other way again. Here you are at the middle. Before your loop closes, go through the loop. Okay. I'm going to show you. See, I have to keep adjusting my fabric. Gonna go to the corner, stop, bring your thread around, pull your needle through. Go to the middle, stop, bring your thread around, pull your needle through. Go to the corner, stop. Bring your thread around, pull your needle through. Now, this I've been recording for a little over nine minutes. This is about how far I got. I don't expect you guys to sew this quickly. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to do your knot at the end of your stitching. This is what the stitching looks like. Okay. You can see there's the line. Right along the edge. That's what it looks like. If you're pulling it real tight, it's going to look like this. It's going to be a little more puckered. It's going to curl over. That's okay. When you are sewing your project, I want you to pull it tight like this so that when you turn it right side out, there aren't any gaps. Okay. 
So now I'm going to show you how to finish off with your knot at the end of your stitching. Now here is where your thread is coming through your fabric. So take a little stitch, tiny, tiny little stitch of fabric. And before the loop closes, you go through the loop. You are going to get tired of hearing that. Before the loop closes, go through the loop. La, 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 la. Okay, there's one knot. Go in the exact same spot. Dun, da, da. There you go. See, just like that. Pull it. Before the loop closes, go through your loop. Okay. Then you are going to take your scissors or shears. Now you're going to go all the way to the end over here. Cut it so that there's a little bit of thread left over. You're going to take your needle, put it in the masking tape on the top, and put it in your bag. And that's how you do the blanket stitch. Okay, happy sewing!